I'm here today, third day, day three. Talk about what I'm doing today. First thing I did, first thing you do, you gotta set up compost. Right? Now this is an annual compost. This is an environment for lizards and other things. The compost is full of bugs and other things. We want to encourage the natural predators to be there. Otherwise, the bugs are gonna come out here potentially in the state. This is gonna be a herd garden. So you gotta get approval from the owner. So the second thing. Lego pieces are building blocks. You know, I, I love Lego. I'm sure you love Lego when you're a kid. Your kids love Lego. So these are all Lego pieces. I got these blocks here. I got these stones. All of this material, these old bricks, all of this material has been picked up. Um, I actually found that compost heap, which I'm turning into a worm farm. Not a compost heap, but actually a worm farm. And those worms develop, they're going to escape, and they're going to do what? They're going to fall into the compost heap down there. So the top one of the worm farm, the bottom one, designed to basically move worms to the bottom, and where are they going to go next? They're going to go in here, right? So basically, I'm, I've created a system of a breeding system, a composting system, and out here is a bed system, right? So these are Lego blocks. I also found some cool things. I found basically this, this um, planning system, or, or I don't know, whatever. Um, this, uh... This is going to be an insect feeder for bees and stuff that's in the wrong place. I'm going to move that, right? And you'll see what I do with that in the future. And any resources like cans and pots and everything else that's out there, I'm going to modify, use, and certain ways. We don't go and buy new. We use what we have. Once I know what I have, the wood and resources, then I can start the design. I can't design unless I know what I have. Otherwise, you're going to be spending half your time going out and buying stuff. Another very important thing is to walk in and walk around. Let me show you. So here we are in San Jose at Fountain House. This is the back. My first one. There. You can see there's Lego blocks and stuff. We've got these blocks here. Um, these tiles and stuff in here. All this is going to be picked up. And I found this really cool bench that I want to uh, fix up. I found an old plow. I don't know if you can see that there. This is actually I know it's a lagoon, which means a nitrogen fixer is the pods, right? The types of pods on the trees. And we have this tree in Japan. I'm pretty sure I know the name of it, but I'm pretty sure it has a flower. It's also damaged, which means at some point it's a little bit of a flower. It's a great It's a great thing. It can be used for Say you don't have any trees and you want ground cover, well look, look at this mound of free ground cover. Or you can throw this, this is brown for your compost heap, you can just throw in there, right? Uh, just come by with a big bag and pick it up. I'm sure they'll appreciate you cleaning up the leaves today, as I would appreciate getting these leaves I can put in the compost heap. The other important thing when you move into a new neighborhood is actually get to meet the neighbors. Find out what they're doing.
So look at all this lavender. I'd like to get people from France and say, hey, can I grab some lavender? Can I try to root it? Can I, you know, when the seeds come out? Because look at this. You can make soap, you can make shampoos, you can make all sorts of things. Uh, lotions. Uh, I'm curious if I can make a lavender So look at this, you can use this for, for the sidings of your bed and eventually it'll break down, that's great, it's all wild, there's some, you know, you can use this stuff. So I'm going to pick this up, take a few, I took a few the other day, pick some more up, and these are Lego blocks. So this is the second time I've walked, and actually I've walked down here so we can explore this. They're starting to uh, flat. So I'm walking around here and I hear people talking, so knowing me, you all know me, I just walk 
up and say hi. And Ken, this is Ken. I told him all about how to stuff. So here he's going to demonstrate. He's going to demonstrate this, this. This we're going to test it on a giant hornet. I think I'm going to test it on a giant hornet. But we let him show. We're going to show. Let him do it. One sec. Yeah. Look at this. Now what this has is it has salt, right? Yep. Like can it? Where's the salt go? Right here. Right here. Now do you use just regular or salt? Why not use rock salt? Because I think it's too big. Too big for it. But I might. I might need rock salt for the for the giant hornet. Try sand. Oh, sandy coat. Yeah, that's the last of all. So you use the salt so you can clean it out. Now, how big is the hole? Let me see the hole. How big is the... It's not... I mean, it's kind of a... It's... Yeah. I don't know if that would have a... Can you, can you hit me right in my chest with it? He's going to shoot me. Hold on. Let me hold on a second. Yeah, he's going to hit me. Okay. My safety's on. He's going to hit me. Yeah, I can feel that. Yeah, I don't know if that would kill a giant hornet. But I think it'll just piss it off. Thanks a lot for sharing that. Right. Okay. So uh, I'm going to head on and see what else I can find in the neighborhood. In uh, May, it's part of Monster. Okay. When you start seeing Monster, then you're going to be looking for Monster. Okay. Like that, yeah. And now maybe we'll have a party or something. Maybe we'll have a party or we'll do some sort of event. I don't know. So I'm staying here. These guys here are uh, doing a new um, bed, and uh, there's all this wood here. So I'm going to get this wood, and um, this is great. I can use all this. So this is like Lego pieces. Here's someone with a bunch of dirt. I don't know what they're doing, if they're uh, fixing their yard or something else. But I see blocks over there, so there's potential, you know, Lego blocks. And uh, they've got an orange tree right there, it's kind of cool. This is what's really sad. Here is uh, they're using um, little blocks around it. This is actually, you know what this is? These are actually um, um, like made out of clay. Or, so it's kind of cool. And they also put in a sprinkler system, right? This is traditional. Put in a sprinkler system in a place where we have a water, low water. That's the way go. So I made a new. Supporting Foundups, learn more about Foundups. Foundups is an alternative to the startup. It's about basically living sustainably and launching ideas that will help our planet. This is a live tree, and this is Cindy's house, and I knocked on the door because I saw the limes on the ground, and I thought, hey, can I have them? So, can I pick up the ones on the ground? So, yeah, go ahead and pick up the ones on the ground, or get the ones on the tree, right? The really yellow or white. So, she said, sure. So, today, not only did I find these, 